so I just want you all to watch this very quick video that I'm about to show you guys after this like little preview just like, listen to the words that they say you know it's very emotional you know so just um, stay focused to what is being said in this video Dear Daddy, I just wanted to thank you for looking after me so well, even though I'm not yet born. I know you already try harder than Superman, you won't even let Mommy eat sushi. But I need to ask you a favour. Warning, it's about boys. Because, you see, I will be born a girl. Which means that by the time I'm 14, the boys in my class will have called me a whore, a bitch, a cunt, and many other things. It's just for fun, of course. Something boys do. So you won't worry. And I understand that. Perhaps you did the same when you were young, trying to impress some of the other boys. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it. Still, some of the people won't get the joke. And funnily enough, it isn't any of the girls. It's some of the boys. So by the time I turn 16, a couple of the boys will have snuck their hands down my pants while I'm so drunk I can't even stand straight. And although I say no, they just laugh. It's funny, right? If you saw me, Daddy, you would be so ashamed. Because I'm wasted. No wonder I'm raped when I'm 21. 21 and on my way home in a taxi driven by the son of a guy you went swimming with every Wednesday. The guy who always told insulting jokes. But they were, of course, only jokes. So you laughed. Had you known that his son would end up raping me, you would have told him to get a grip. But how could you know? He was just a boy, telling weird jokes. And in any case, it wasn't your business. You were just being nice. But his son, raised on these jokes, becomes my business. Then finally, I meet Mr. Perfect. And you're so happy for me, Daddy, because he really adores me. And he's smart, with a great job, and all through the winter he goes cross-country skiing three times a week just like you. But one day he stops being Mr. Perfect. And I don't know why. Wait, am I overreacting? One thing I do know, I'm not the victim type. I'm raised to be a strong and independent woman. But one night it's just all too much for him, with work and the in-laws and the wedding coming up. So he calls me a whore, just like you called a girl in middle school a whore once. Then another day, he hits me. I mean, I'm way out of line. I can really be a bitch sometimes. But we're still the world's greatest couple and I'm so confused because I love him and I hate him and I'm not sure if I really did do something wrong and... And then one day he almost kills me. It all goes black. Even though I have a PhD, a fantastic job, I'm loved by my friends and family, I'm well brought up and nobody saw this coming. Dear Daddy, this is the favour I want to ask. One thing always leads to another. So please stop it before it gets the chance to begin. Don't let my brothers call girls whores, because they're not. And one day some little boy might think it's true. Don't accept insulting jokes from weird guys by the pool, or even friends, because behind every joke there is always some truth. Dear Daddy, I know you will protect me from lions, tigers, 
guns, cars, and even sushi without even thinking about the danger to your own life. But dear Daddy, I will be born a girl. Please do everything you can so that that won't stay the greatest danger of all. So, just from um, you in the video, you can always already tell that it's about violence and boys treating girls differently like calling them like names like hoes etc in that video like I just said um and like violence abuse it's just wrong like everyone should be treated the same way as everyone else in the world like no one should be treated differently because you know what i mean so it's like you raw everyone treat each other in the same way as you would do with your mates like can you joke around but make sure you you joke around like they know it's a joke around so it's like because some people when you call each other names they take it in the wrong way so just make sure that they know that you're joke, joking around and then maybe they'll be fine about it but just make sure that you are polite to everyone you um do what you think is best for the people around you and always stay positive and ignore the negativity like bullying ignore them you're stronger than them they're just jealous of what you want to do in life like you know what i mean so guys i've got to say i'm going to end this video right now just say stay positive guys mad love